Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles, and today is Thanksgiving, the turkey day. So we had to do a video. And come to think of it, I just got a 3D printer back up and running. I know, we'll 3D print something to do with Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, guys, well, if you couldn't guess by looking at the screen, we have a turkey cookie cutter here sitting on the Ultimaker platform in Kura. I picked this up from Thingiverse. It is an actual pretty cool cookie cutter. So all I did to the model was I scaled it up by 50% because my wife wanted a larger cookie. And now let's go take it over and throw it at the Ultimaker because I just recently upgraded to dual extrusion. We need to make sure everything's working right. All right, here's the finished cookie cutter, fresh off the printer. What do you say we go hand it over to my wife and see what she does with it? All right, here we have our turkey cookie cutter that I 3D printed, and we have some dough. What kind of dough is this, honey? Sugar cookie dough? All right, well, let's try it out. Let go. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's a turkey cookie. It is. Here, let's do another one. Got to powder the turkey's nose. Yes. Oh, incoming. Nice. Hey buddy, go watch your show. It's a turkey now. It is a turkey. Tail's a little tricky, huh? It is. No. Oh no, a turkey neck broke. There we go. It's another turkey cookie. Alright, let's do one more. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Cookie cutters are actually really, really easy to 3D model, too. Thank goodness. If you got a picture or something, you can make a cookie cutter out of it pretty easily. Oh, give it up. 
What do you want, Stinker? What do you want? There we go. Rock on. All right, those are beautiful. Look at them. Turkey. Looks good, Mama. That is one majestic looking cookie right there. My wife even frosted it for me. Yummy. Well guys, what can I say? It's awesome to have a 3D printer back up and running again. That means lots more 3D printer videos coming. And I even got a cookie out of the deal. Look at that. Gobble, gobble. Mmm. Delicious. Well, I hope that video gave you a nerdgasm or foodgasm or some other kind of gasm. But guys, stay tuned. More videos coming your way. I pretty much took the whole month of December off work, so there'll be a lot more videos uh, probably starting next week. Not so much this week and this weekend. Uh, I've still got some work to tie up. But more videos coming your way. As always, leave your comments down below. You know I love to read them. Take it easy. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. So good. So good. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. So now, uh, with these longer screws, I'll be able to hold all three. And what we're looking at right here is a little bit different than the 3D model. We're looking at the G code. Now, the G code is what the printer uses to visualize the tool path that the little print head has to follow and print each layer. So you can see if I tear it all the way down here, you can see this is how the printer builds the model. This is showing you the tool path, how, how the print head moves to print each one of these parts. And you can get in there, you can even see the honeycomb pattern that it's printing on each one of these layers. So if you